Welcome Virgos. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the season of Aquarian and it is the abundance of money and prosperity reading. All right. So Virgos, 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 you have the most powerful energy in the upright. Um, it is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely fabulous. A lot of you earth sign people are get, getting a hit in this Aquarian season. Okay. And we, when we say getting a hit is that, um, a lot of you are having these reverse energy, which you need to balance out because you have left your sister sign and you're in a hurt sign. Now you begin the energy with the fool. What is the energy of the fool? A lot of you are moving forward and this fool is so powerful because this fool is in the reverse and, and this is, um, good. And there is nothing that is rational in a, this month, which is good. You're dealing with hair, um, water, um, fire, and hurt your own um, energy in uh, um, the last week. So this is um, absolutely fabulous. And um, you have ooh, Ace of Cups. That is one, uh, a nine. And 10, 19, um, so that is good, 19. 19 is the energy of the sun. Um, new starts, ending, new starts. Um, 19 comes up to 10, which is your um, Aquarian season is going to be number 10, a new start. Now, you have some sort of a success, but on the line success that is going to be coming up for you guys. So um, recognize this. Um, definitely a new start is here for you. There is no question. Um, so you see the energy of the fool in the reverse, not looking backwards, but looking forward. And it's creating a new start for you, a new stability. And this is a wonderful alignment of energy, especially when the fool um, is looking forward and not backwards. So... A lot of you, whatever that was transpired, you link with the Aquarian. This is the energy of the Aquarian season. And the fool is the energy of the Aquarian. So I see some, some of you Aquarians are going to be giving you a push start. Okay. So your link with Uranus. Okay. And the fool energy is the energy of Uranus. And it is associated with the practice, the practical of uh, courage, um, ecstasy with fear but you're moving forward it doesn't really matter it's as if you're moving forward okay actively impulsively encouraged to use and take the risk to develop your family and male side to reach wholeness so this is good it's like the tiger springing moving forward springing for something and this is going to be good so really 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 um uranus is here and Go check out your full moon reading, um, January full moon reading and February full moon reading because it's going to be exhilarating you Virgos in a very positive way because the fool is linked with Uranus and Uranus is the energy of the Aquarius. So a lot of you are going to be getting some sort of a new push, um, pushing you in a, a positive direction, moving you forward. So I love this energy. Um, for you guys, it, it, it is wonderful for the first week. It is a wonderful alignment of energy. And this is going to be extremely, extremely good. Um, and um, when we look at the second week, we have the Ace of Cups. So the second week is the energy of the Ace of Cups. Okay, this is a female principle. So a lot of women could be lucky if you're going for a job, go for it in the second week. Um, a job application, um, applying for a job, that sort of a thing, go for it in the second week. Anything you women want to, um, what that has to do with financial, applying for some sort of a loan or that sort of a thing, the second week, the female principle, love and happiness, okay? The Holy Grail with a heart shape, holds emotional integrity and harmony, okay? The rainbow, it is beautiful because what this do is to bring in you know, positive alignment of energy. So as you recognize this, um, Virgos, what you're recognizing is that uh, the two first week is as if uh, um, some, especially females, are going to be in the second week. That is your week, uh, 
um, for you females. The Uranian energy in the first week is as if uh, the Aquarius is going to be exhilarating you. Now, whenever the Ace of Com Cups comes up, it's, it's the Holy Grail. So it's as if universal love is coming to you. And how this is coming in could be true ideas and that sort of a thing that is going to be letting you create something that is going to be helping you and your business in order to push your business forward or push you up the ladder. Something could be happening that you are the one who is recognizing this. Some sort of a skills um, is going to be coming out that you Virgos are recognizing this and moving this up. And this is going to be good. So wonderful alignment of energies. There's no question about it, okay? Another frequency, and this is why I say to a lot of you, some sort of an underlying success is there, but you're not seeing it. It's not like it's a huge success. Some sort of an underlying success, something that you have done, people are recognizing. As we look at the week of the um, 3rd to the 9th of February, I see you're dealing with some sort of a, a situation where you have lost inner strength to deal with it. Is it that you have lost? No. It's just that you gave up. You're not warring. You're not fighting with whatever the situation is. You're letting it go. It's as if you think I am better than this situation and I'm letting it go. I'm not going to make in this situation create in any sort of an issue in my world. So this is a good way of uh, to uh, recognizing that you Virgos have reached a point that you do not have to like fight over a certain situation. You're recognizing, hey, you know, I'm good at what I do. And for the rest, you know, people need to figure it out for themselves because I know what I'm all about and what is transpiring. So this is a wonderful energy. And the frequency of the infinity is that you're not going to be repeating a lesson because you recognize what the lesson is and was, and you're not repeating this lesson. You're just moving forward in a very, very positive direction. So I see some of you who were dealing with some sort of a, um, you know, um, power struggle. This is going to be over. The power struggle is all going to be over. Relax, take life easy and move forward. Now, the last week, the last week, the last week, we have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles is Mercury in Virgo, and this is absolutely powerful. This Mercury in Virgo is such a powerful alignment of energy because this is about wealth and security at all level, okay? So you come up with one of the most LTS situation for you, um, and this means that some sort of a money is going to be returning. So um, as a Virgo, I would give you the chance to look at number four because under number four, it's going to be telling you about some sort of a money that is supposed to come into you or some money that you were not aware of that was out there that was supposed to come into you where it could have been sent and somebody sold the check, that sort of a thing. So I'm giving you Virgos as a tip um, choose any one of the signs, but also choose number four because there's some in, in information about money because um, this is Mercury, which is your own energy. Mercury in Virgo, and it's about wealth and security. So it's about money at all level. And this is something that some of you were not aware of that the money was there and you were supposed to get this money. It's as if... Um, However, this is transparent. Some money was allocated for you, Virgos, and you were not aware of this. So I would advise you, Virgos, to also check the number four in order to recognize uh, what is this all about. Uh, um, this uh, And it's a whole lot of money. It's a whole lot of money. So um, it could have been money that was supposed to pay out, money that is coming in. So I would ask, advise you, Virgos, Check on there the number four. You can choose any other symbol, but check on the number four because number four is going to be giving you some sort of a significant information about money that is either coming back to you, money that was taken, money that was stolen, money that is coming back to you. So go and recognize. So this Aquarian season for you, Virgos, is going to be absolutely fabulous. And I think 
um, you know, starting it out, you know, with a new start because you can definitely see that you're on a new start. You're not looking back at the past. You're looking to the future. So this is going to be wonderful. Please show your likes um, by um, thumbs up and like and share these videos. Please, please remember to share, share, share. If you want to see the symbol, you have to join. Um, I don't remember where it is when you join um, for these abundance reason, but join and you will um, receive uh, um, these extended so you can choose your crystal. I do love you. I want to say namaste. This season lasts oh, from the 20th on till um, the 20, um, from the 19th of the month of February. I gotta go. Namaste.